Hi everyone. Okay, so basically, I have a light bulb, and I want the internet. So we're going to make it flash really fast, and we're going to transmit the internet data through the light bulb to a receiver to our device. Whether that be a computer, a phone, TV, a microwave, dishwasher, kettle, if you want an internet kettle, or if you just want to boil it at a precise amount of seconds. So basically today we're going to be trying to understand what life is and what the hell it's all about. So for a quick example, I have my strobe. Now in this example, the strobe is the emitter. The camera right up here is the receiver. So with some software, the camera interprets the light coming out of here in specific frequencies. So if we set this to maybe one flash a second, say this represents the letter A, or some other data if you want. Two flashes a second, that's a bit fast. Two letter B, three letter C, it's probably about four, and then all the way up to ten. Whatever the hell you want it to be. So basically we're emitting a frequency from here that the camera is picking up and it's then transferring that, not transferring, converting that into readable data for the computer to understand. So the whole essence of it is to have net connectivity, so you can connect to the um so you can connect to the internet, sorry without conventional Wi-Fi. Okay. It's otherwise known as VCL, or Visible Light Communications. Um, and a guy called Chai Nan originally said, it's the first person to ever come up with the idea, originally said that you could potentially produce data connection speeds of approximately 150 megabytes per second. He also said that a one watt light bulb, uh, that's not anything like this because this is seven watt, he said one watt light bulb could produce enough connectivity to fully connect four high-end PCs to the internet streaming media. So this is seven, so if you do the maths, one to four, seven to 28. So this flashing, probably low energy though, so it wouldn't be as effective, 24 computers to the internet just via this. For this one, I'm gonna to have to read it off the paper just because of the way the word is. So later on this year, the Fraunhofer, Fraunhofer Heinrich Hertz Institute made a claim that data speeds could reach one gigabyte per second. That's a hell of a lot, really, because, well, the way they wanted to do it, if you had a bulb with three colors, the primary colors, that each could produce speeds of three gigabytes per second, then that's, that's crazy. Three colors up to three gigabytes per second, that's 47.26 times faster than my internet that's 65 megabytes a second, if I did the math correctly. Now, more importantly, in the most recent months, UK researchers have said that they've reached speeds of 10 gigabytes per second via Li-Fi. That's crazy fast. Okay, so how they did it? They used microchip LEDs with the three primary colours inside the bulb, so that's red, green and blue, these make up white like we went over earlier. Each of those colours could emit speed data speeds of 3.5 gigabytes per second, is what they got in laboratory conditions though. So that's with no other interference. So 3.5 times by 3, 10.5. So that's easily 10 gigabytes a second. And that is very fast. If we go to the positives and negatives of this whole thing though, positives, it's pretty cheap once it's in, in the light bulbs themselves because you've just got a microchip that's emitting the data. Uh, they're also pretty easy to manufacture and they could provide net, net connectivity almost anywhere without any obstructions because that, that is the only negative. Light can be blocked instantly. I mean, look at this here. This is transmitting data to there, which is not, and it's stopped. So that is a negative. Talking in convenience terms, I mean, you may think with my strobe going at one flash a second, that that's gonna really pee you off if, for example, your lights were going on and off to play a song radio stereo but in real terms the lights are flashing blinking at such incredibly high frequencies that you don't even notice it and again flashing slowly it's taken a long time to transmit that data so you listen to a song the lights will be going off it would be like 8 bit do 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 okay it's gonna be annoying but no because it's very high frequencies very very high you don't notice it and it can transmit the data very very quickly very quickly and it's very very efficient so thanks very much for watching i hope i've explained it reasonably ish well so thanks bye